Carolyn's chestnut seed. Oh my god. Oh, kills her. A fly. It's okay. Let me have it. I've woken up today and I've decided that I want to rearrange my whole apartment again. This happens to me, you guys know, this happens to me so often. Once I get like an idea in my mind to rearrange something, to move furniture, I have to do it. I can try to talk myself out of it, I can try and tell myself to wait for a second opinion or when someone is at least here to help me, but no. We're steamrolling ahead. I thought this time I would bring you along with me because I'm gonna be moving all of my bookcases. I've arranged the apartment since moving here probably like eight, seven or eight different times and it never feels right. So obviously we're gonna give it another go. I just wanted to like mention this person, but I really have been loving her videos. Uh, her channel is Charlie Follows, but she's kind of my new favorite yoga channel now that I'm trying to get back into yoga. So yeah, I would highly recommend. She has classes for like all levels and stuff. So really, really been loving her. Oh shit.
No, no, no. Pa. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As you can see, it has been accomplished. It has been moved. Um, I think this is definitely my favorite placement of the bookshelves that I've had in the apartment to date. I love, like I love the corner piece when the bookshelves like, you know, come together to meet in a corner. I just think it, it makes the coziest little place ever. So I'm very happy with them here. I love that this big cozy roundish cuddle chair slash couch is right here next to the books. Um, it's just been making me want to read a lot, lot more because I've just been in like a reading I guess a reading slump. I guess that's what it is. Although now that it's rolled over into October, today is October. I don't know. It's October something. It's the start of October, the very beginning of October, which I'm so excited about. Although it doesn't really feel like that here because today it's like 25 degrees. Yesterday was very warm, but it's the start of a new week and I am really excited to read. I'm just about to finish up one book here, which I'm having a really good time with. It's Northanger Abbey reread for me, but um, I'm getting so much more out of it this time. Let me know as well what you think of this. Like, it's just a very soft filter that's built into my camera that I just selected. I put it on the last video and you guys, a bunch of you said you really like the soft, soft look of it. So let me know, otherwise I can just take it off, but we'll leave it on for now. I'm just really happy that the bookshelves are here now. I'm not gonna touch them. I promise I'm not gonna touch them. <laughs> until I move out now. That is a promise. Northanger Abbey. Um, I'm having so much fun. I'm so, so glad. Like, you, here's the thing. You don't really get to Northanger Abbey, which is the Tilney's residence in the novel, until about like 110 pages into the book. So you don't really see Northanger Abbey until you're quite a ways into the novel, but I'm so glad that we're out of Bath. We're following this young girl named Catherine. She's making her first friends, I guess, in society. Um, Isabella was her best friend. I hate Isabella. I hate John, Isabella's brother. And now that those two are no longer in the picture, I am so much happier, so much happier, especially now that the very strong gothic elements are coming out because everything is kind of leading towards Catherine experiencing or trying to experience as hard as she can the gothic in her own life when she gets to Northanger Abbey which is like I said the Tilney's residence it was an abbey converted now to their family home and she is so looking forward to seeing everything horrible and spooky and gothic and everything becomes an object of suspicion in her eyes becomes tainted and tinted with the gothic that she's been reading from Radcliffe's novels. I'm really relating a lot to Catherine. I think a lot of it is, you know, you have expectations about some things or you're like, I mean, I love the gothic. I love, 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 love the gothic, especially like seeing through Catherine's eyes, her expectations of what a converted Abbey is going to look like and then getting there and realizing that it has been altered so much from what it used to be that the ancient ruins that she was expecting they're just not there that they're so different realizing that the reality that you want falls so short of what is actually available to you because the tilneys have redone the abbey in a very modern for early 1800s uh style she had even passed onto the hall without feeling one awful foreboding of future misery to herself or one moment suspicion of any past scenes of horror being acted within the solemn edifice the breeze had not seemed to waft the size of the murder to her. It wafted nothing worse than a thick, mizzling rain. She's so upset. She's so upset that, like, no one's been murdered there. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, not my favorite of Austin's novels, but um, I'm still having a good time. Nothing really too, too much is happening, uh, but I only have 30 pages left, so really having a good a good solid time with this one honestly other than that i am feeling motivated to get the week off on a good foot i've been trying to get back into yoga more regularly like you've seen and i'm just feeling like very motivated to get strong <laughs> i want to climb some rocks i think i really want to put some more energy into trying to do bouldering a lot more often so i think fingers crossed be able to make time for that this week sometime during the week hopefully to go to a bouldering gym which i've just i've only been twice I've only been twice but i just had such a good time it's always so fun it's so interesting it's such a cool like new to me way of exercising and having fun and i just really just really want to get strong so i can climb some rocks that's the truth i know that you guys have been asking a lot like both on insta and um 
in previous vlogs just for more just for more lifestyle content so i'm gonna try to provide that as best i can i've been trying to do yoga like schedule not like yoga classes i've just been doing youtube videos because i haven't been going to yoga classes for a while now but just been trying to do yoga sessions in the morning before i start my day which i really enjoy i feel like i can get my best workouts my best performances in in the morning yesterday it was spent kayaking um on lake ontario which was really nice i've kayaked on the islands before like when carolyn was here she and i went kayaking through the toronto islands which is very calm the water's very calm it's just like a little meandering river but yesterday i kayaked across like across the lake to get to the islands which i've never done before <laughs> um this time i was in a sea kayak so obviously you're in a much bigger kayak because it is it's wavy and you're like kayaking next to yachts and sailboats and skidoos sea doos i always say skidoo damn it they're sea doos and it's like it is wavy so that was like so much fun so so much fun i had a really good weekend yesterday kayaking across and then through through the islands and then back across the lake so yeah just a really really good time i love love kayaking i love kayaking so much so so much but um, I also have had this like huge stack uh, or pile I guess of clothing This is a very very collective Big clothing haul that I've been meaning to share with you for weeks and it's just been sitting here and like Accumulating and I haven't done just haven't been just haven't had the energy to film it honestly essentially they're different piles all together so the first one um, when Carolyn was here we went shopping I typically never go clothes shopping like in Toronto outside in the stores it's just not something I do but when she was here we just had so much fun so I have a little haul that I bought of stuff when Carolyn was here I went thrifting um oh I think only online thrifting yeah I did go to a few in-person thrift stores but I didn't get anything so a couple online pieces from ThreadUp and then I was actually sent um, a few pieces from a brand who reached out to me. They were like, hey, can we send you a few of our pieces for like an honest review? What are your thoughts on them? And I was like, yeah, sure, because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about them recently. So I thought we could go through it and do a little try on clothing haul because I haven't done this in a while. Let's start with what I got when Carolyn was here. Um, we went to a few stores downtown, which is fun, like in the, I guess, fashion district. I have been loving skirts recently. Skirts have been pretty much, I don't know, they're just what I want to wear all the time now. Um, they're so easy and like I didn't really have too, too many skirts. So I got, I got three new skirts when I was out with Carolyn. I was just like, pants, pants are out. I just want to wear skirts. So the first one I got, take off, I think here's what I'll do. I think I'll take off this soft filter because it might alter color somewhat. So I'll take it off when I do like the try on portion. Here is the first skirt that I got. Um, we went into Urban Outfitters, which I've never, I've never been into Urban Outfitters. I always thought it like looked kind of cool from the outside, but I was never... I don't know, never brave enough to step in. This first piece is from Urban and it is this very bright, very, very brightly colored skirt. I feel like I don't normally wear stuff like this, but I really have just been wanting to put some color, different colors back into my wardrobe. It's this kind of long, uh, it's diagonally cut at the bottom with a bunch of ruffles. It's like lime green with purple flowers. The waistband is really cute because it has um, this little cut of purple lace. I really love the ruffles on the bottom. Like that's what got me I was like obsessed with the ruffles. People will see me coming a mile away in this one so The next skirt I got I really love the silk skirts. Silk skirts have been I don't know I just want to collect so many different colored silk skirts. They're just so easy to put on I feel like they go with everything. I think they look very chic and mature and elegant and I just have been really loving seeing silk skirts they're like very i feel like they're very in right now i got this one in like a kind of light blue color it's very long um i love actually the length as long as it's like below the knee or like right at the shin level that's that's like a good length for me or all the way down to the feet so this one goes all the way down it's quite long um and yeah it's just nice nice and stretchy very roomy um, it's not see-through which is nice and I just love I love this color. I think it looks so nice This is one of my favorite shades of blue. The only thing with this one is that I feel like I can't step very far in it um, <laughs> So I have to be careful not to fall on my face the other skirt that I got I'm actually wearing right now So I will just show you that the top is like it's not lace. What did what do you call this? Anyway, just this very sheer material and it is like kind of 
you know, artfully ripped on one side. So um, it's asymmetrical. The left side is like short and little mini skirt. And then the right side um, has this very flowy, flowy white um, material with like a lettuce cut. Because the pieces are just kind of doing whatever they want, you can tie it into a knot and a bow. It is giving a little bit like Ashley Tisdale on like a 2000s red carpet, but um, I, I enjoy it and I think it looks cute. And then the last two pieces I got with Carolyn, we actually got a couple matching pieces. So we each got this shirt also from Urban. Um, I got it in pink and she got it in dark green. I also, also just very fairy. I don't know. I just feel like this, I'm part of the Winx Club and I've always wanted to be part of the Winx Club. So it is, I don't know if it's technically supposed to be off the shoulder or not. I have a hard time getting it to stay on my shoulder, but um, it has these drawstrings so you can tighten it up. It's just like a nice, pretty light, long sleeve. I think this would be perfect to take. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pack this one probably. I'll probably pack this one to take with me. Um, I think just a lot of layers is going to be the thing for the Italy trip because going in November, um, first of all, is nice because it's a lot less expensive and of course there's going to be a lot less people is what I've heard. So yeah, I think this one is just so pretty. It's so pretty. And the dark green on Carolyn also looks amazing. It looks so good on her. And then we each got the exact same, just very basic gray tank top that says Toronto in dark green lettering. I went home a few weeks ago to see my family and do some stuff. So I just got this one piece when I was out with my mom. I was getting like a big suitcase because I didn't have a, um, like a large, large luggage, I guess that you would consider a checked bag. So I got my suitcase, which I can show you later, but I also picked up this like very cozy, very abdominal jacket. It's just checkered and kind of this like puke really baby puke green, but I think it looks kind of cute and then white. The problem is, is that I washed it with something that was definitely very blue and now the white squares look a lot less white, but that's okay. Um, I love the buttons. I love the buttons. I think they're really nice. And then it has a uh, breast pocket too, which is cute. So very warm, very warm and cozy. Perfect for hopefully the colder autumn days that are gonna be coming. I don't know when they're gonna be coming. Next up, I have my thrifted pieces. Uh, these three are from ThreadUp. Love ThreadUp to death. If I see something that's like very unique, I will get it because they have very unique pieces. Um, for example, this thing. So I saw this, there's no tag, which I don't know, it feels like it was a costume. It feels a little bit handmade, but it is this very, very, very cool jacket jacket shirt thing. It's very historical. <laughs> um, it has black little black buttons all down the front and then it feels very equestrian. If I was ever a duchess out on my moors riding a horse, um, you would see me wearing this piece. Like, there's light peachy ruffles down the front that goes really well, really beautifully with this dark brown color. The material is like suede and then the peachy part is just kind of sheer. And it's a little bit sparkly. I don't think that's coming off on camera, but it is a little bit sparkly. It's just so freaking cool. I just love it. I want to wear stuff like this all the time. Something you'll also see is that I've been really into vests recently, um, like suit vests, and I just want to learn how to style them a bit better because I think they look really cool. And I don't want to look like a third-rate magician. Amateur magicians can look cool. I kind of just more want to look like a museum curator. One who's been my style inspiration lately and probably why I've become so obsessed with vests is George Russell's girlfriend. Her style, the F1 driver. Her name's Carmen. Oh my god. She just has, she just has such elegant outfits and I think they look so good. So I've been trying to like channel her a little bit. She just looks so cool all the time. Anyway, so I got a couple of vest one is definitely a suit vest this one i didn't know when i got it off of the website that it was denim but actually i think it looks pretty cool so it's just this black vest um i also didn't know that it had this like really cool i don't know if you can see it patterning it's a little cowboyish but i kind of enjoy it um and it fits really nicely it fits really well it's originally from a brand called adobe rose never heard of them there it is. Um, I really want to pair the vests with the silk skirts. I think that looks cool. And then this one does come with like a little tie to cinch it around the waist. So that is the first vest that I got. And then I got another black one. This one is definitely more of a suit vest, a little bit more dressy. This one is originally from H&M. 
here it is. This one is a tiny bit big. Yeah, I've just been really enjoying how that looks. So that is everything I got thrifted. And then these next pieces were sent to me, gifted to me by a brand. So thank you so much. These are all from Rehouse. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, I've been seeing them a lot on Instagram. Different people wearing them on Instagram. First one is this dress. This one's actually cute. This one's actually really cute. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, this one I've been wearing a lot. I wore this when I went to the airport to pick Carolyn up. I think it's very, very chic. I'm gonna say the word chic a lot in this segment apparently, but it's just this like off-white kind of creamy button-up dress with a nice, nice, very nice collar. Um, it is sleeveless. I'd recommend maybe wearing something under this one because it's a little bit sheer, but it's very nice and pleated. A lot of these pieces I did have to iron. I got in a size small and it's so cute. I think this one would look really good actually with like one of those vests over it or paired with like a belt. I think that would look cool. Probably gonna take this one with me to Italy as well because it's totally, I could totally see this with like a nice black turtleneck underneath and like tights or leggings, boots even. So next I saw this um, set and I was like, this looks really cool. I really like matching sets. It's great. You don't have to think about what you're wearing. I have this one. So this is the top. Again, a nice button up. This time with short sleeves. Checkered with like dark, dark brown and beige. And then it also has a little bit of a tie. Where is it? Yes, a very thin drawstring. So that's cute. This one is a little bit thinner than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be maybe a bit thicker. The bottoms are of course the same checkered pattern again these are a little bit thinner than i was expecting not totally in love with the shorts but i really really like the top they're like fancy pajamas that you wear outside i also got one more set this one i definitely could have sized down a little bit but it's not really the biggest deal because this one i can wear a belt with these creamy linen-y shorts with the pleats sorry button appreciation and i got the matching vest <laughs> because yes um, obsessed with the vest. So this one is all linen-y and then on the inside it's a silkier, silkier material. This is the shirt. It's probably my favorite shirt that I received from them. Um, I've been wearing this one non-stop. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this one and it is the <gasps> navy blue, very basic tank, but I love the detail of like the scoop, scoop neck and then it still has that piece of fabric which um, goes up so it's like the square neck. Yeah. These are so cool. I really, 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 really love this. I picked another two dresses because I saw these and I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna wear these. Actually, the first one I'm definitely gonna bring with me if I ever go out to a very fancy dinner somewhere. This is probably, I think, their most popular dress that I saw on the website, so I wanted to give it a go. And it is, it is beautiful. It is really, 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 really beautiful. I currently have it on the hanger, but can you see the sleeves? These are the sleeves. The sleeves are pearls. The sleeves are pearls. Very long, luxurious white dress with like this really cool texture. I can't really just, I don't know how to describe it. Just, it reminds me of the ocean. It reminds me of shells. It's very beachy. I'm definitely gonna wear this somewhere. I'm gonna pack it in my suitcase for something. And then this other dress is also really nice. I just couldn't leave it there. It looked like so old timey and vintage and that is the weight of my heart. Green dress and the skirt on this baby is just really gorgeous i really really love it it's very poofy um it's very classic classic is the word that is coming to my mind i feel like i would wear this to prom in the 1950s 60s i don't know just really 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 love it I'm very impressed with the dresses i believe they also gave me a code that you can use so that is in the description links are in the description what i am gonna do though is definitely try my best to continue on with the spooky reads i'm also of course reading wuthering heights right now and i'm also trying to pick out an audiobook today that is spooky i haven't been able to to find one yet i've gone through like four gone through like four different ones at this rate listening to the samples listening to the first few pages and they just haven't been working out but really enjoying this would highly recommend Northanger Abbey if you haven't yet read it um I don't think it's a poor place at all to start with Austin if you've never read Jane Austen before
here's what I'm doing right now. Yes, I dug out my uh, fake mustaches. As you can see, I don't know where these ones went, they're gone, but I am currently just about to start filming a detective video, which I'm really excited about. I've got my costume going on and um, yeah, so I'm about to do that, but I wanted to show you these two autumnal mugs that I got. This first one I got when Carolyn was here. This one is from Chapters. It's so cute. I've been loving here. Maybe this way you can see it better. I've been loving the clear, clear mugs, especially if they have a design on it. I just think they're so cute. So this one is just a bunch of pumpkins. It's a nice size, very sturdy, so cute. And then this other one I got uh, from Winners in my hometown. It is <gasps> Snoopy. This one's huge. Like this is a very big mug that you could use for like soup or cereal, literally anything. It has a little leaf design in there. And then it just says pumpkin everything. And it has Snoopy on it. I love Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. The film, the little film, I used to watch Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin um, every Halloween night as a kid before I would go out trick-or-treating, like I would get my costume on and then I'd sit in the living room and watch Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin, which would always be on TV on Halloween night and then I'd go out trick-or-treating. Um, yeah, I just really love it. I don't think I've actually ever seen the whole film front to back, <laughs> beginning to end, because it was always like in snippets on TV Halloween night, but um, the soundtrack, the soundtrack, the Great Pumpkin Waltz, it goes really hard. The flute, the flute in the Great Pumpkin Waltz, obsessed. I should really bring my flute back and um, find the score for that because I would love to play it. I just love the Great Pumpkin Waltz, essential. So um, it just really reminded me of that. So I picked up that mug. So those are my two autumnal mug purchases. I am going to go start filming this video. I plan to try to film it all in a day. I don't know if that's going to happen or not because that's going to be a lot of work for um, a video of this kind of solving an Agatha Christie murder mystery. But if you're not, it will be coming to you very soon. I'm very excited.